first episode. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the very first episode of WiftCast, my brand new podcast that we talk about the Washington football team and basically anything that's going on in the NFL right now, because there's some pretty crazy stuff, not gonna lie. Also, I just want to say thank you for everyone that's still supporting me through this. I know I switched and stuff, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these new podcasts and maybe some skits coming in there every now and then, plus maybe a face reveal at one point. I don't know. I don't know. For the first episode of this podcast, I want to go over the Washington football team and do a little bit of a season preview heading into the 2021 to 2022 seasons because there's a lot to talk about. So let's start here with what they did over the offseason. Some notable additions is that they added Ryan Fitzpatrick, William Jackson, Curtis Samuel, pretty three, three pretty big guys that all of them will be, most likely start. I don't see why not. Maybe Ryan Fitzpatrick if Taylor Heineke does really good, but we'll talk more about Heineke later on. Even though we added a few big name players, we did lose defensive end Ryan Kirgan, cornerbacks Ronald Darby and Fabian Moreau, and tight end Jeremy Sprinkle as well. Over the draft, we had the 19th pick in the first round where we picked up Jamin Davis, an inside linebacker from Kentucky. And we also picked up offensive tackle Samuel Cosme in the second round from Texas. And to round out just a few highlights from the draft, we got Deami Brown, Benjamin St. Juste, and John Bates to finish off. Another notable part of the draft is that we did trade away Trent Williams. For Trent Williams, we did get a third round pick and a fifth round pick. With this third round pick, we did pick up Benjamin St. Juste. He might fill the, ba- fill the gap a little bit from losing Ronald Darby and Fabian Moreau in free agency. Now let's skip ahead a little bit to training camp. Here in training camp, the real only real issue is COVID right now, as six players are on the COVID list for Washington, including three starters, Matt Ioannidis, Curtis Samuel, and just announced today as I'm recording this, Brennan Sheriff. Right now, Washington, they used to have the lowest vac- vaccination rate, but now they are up one. So we now have the 31st out of 32 in vaccination rate. Ron Rivera did say that there is a pretty good progress on players getting vaccinated on NFL Network today. So maybe it can go up a little bit, but he did warn them too that if this was an actual game, then this could be pretty bad. Now, if we look ahead a little bit for some goals for this season, I would say the goal for the whiff this season A 10-win season at least. I don't even think 10 wins will make the playoffs. So I also put down make the playoffs. If making back-to-back playoffs, this would be the first time in like five or six seasons, I believe, that the Wift would make back-to-back playoffs. Also, some keys to making the playoffs this season is get the chemistry between Fitzmagic and the wide receivers. As hopefully Fitzmagic isn't that streaky like he was last season in Miami, but... Hopefully, he's more consistent and consistently good, too. Also, staying healthy on the offensive line. Like, offensive linemen, one at a time, just keep on getting hurt week after week. And as we move over to the defense, pretty pretty solid defense, I would say, we have right now the best or the second best defense in the league, in my opinion. We had some good pickups in the drafts and free agency, including Jamin Davis and William Jackson again. Also, if Cameron Curl can have another good season, like his rookie season last season, This would make the secondary an elite secondary and one to definitely be afraid of if you're an opposing team. I want to go a little bit ahead and talk about next offseason as well as some notable free agents that we're going to need to re-sign in my opinion. Burnt Sheriff, a big one. He right now is getting paid $18 million because he's on the franchise tag back-to-back seasons. So this is a lot of money we're paying him. We're kind of getting into the same Kirk Cousins downhill spiral type stuff. I I want him to stay. He wants himself to stay he wants to be on a long-term contract here so hopefully the front office and him can get things worked out so he can be a Washington football team member for a a pretty long time also Ryan Fitzpatrick although I'm not sure if he would want to retire after this season or something but yeah he's getting paid 10 million dollars this season we signed him to a one-year 10 million dollar contract six million guaranteed and so depending on how the quarterback competition works out we may or may not re-sign him next offseason. Some also notable free agents, John Bostic, Charles Leno, and Cornelius Lucas. Leno and Lucas are both left tackles, so we will most likely sign one of those two if we want to have a solid offensive line. And finally, 
Terry McLaurin. He'll be entering his fourth year next season in the 2022 to 2023 season. And so his fifth year option will most likely be picked up as well. Thank you guys for listening to my first episode of Whiftcast. Expect more of these in the future. Plus, I did mention earlier, maybe some skits or something for games or whatever. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace. She said I hate my day job. I don't feel it. I need race car. Top down to match my ceiling. I don't have none. Dollar bill is.